Hey, what's up, Ecom Empires? Good morning or good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, whatever time zone you're in. It is 7.46 a.m. for me here in the North Bethesda, Maryland area. I have my coffee and I am ready. I'm excited for this video. Uh, I know a lot of you are excited to watch this as well. And it's, you know, we should be. There should be excitement because what we're going to be looking at today, I'm going to be pulling back my ads manager, uh, the curtain, you know, so to speak, uh, metaphor, pulling back the curtain on my ads manager and showing you guys what I was able to do last week. This is basically a case study, all right? I, I got a great response to this post, and, and that's always cool, and I love that. Uh, you know, a lot of people started asking about, kind of unrelated things like um, product research and niche research and, and a lot of different things. But, you know, this is really just meant to be a case study on when when your store is set up and when you're ready and when you have a winning product, being able to scale it quickly. All right. And I just want to show you what I've been doing with my ads. I want to show you my overall strategy, uh, how I'm looking at winners and losers and and my bidding and, and all of that kind of stuff. All right. So. I really want to help you guys have a look at the numbers because one of the most important things is that, uh, number one, you're able to look at your ads and understand how to read the data. I mean, that that's almost the most important thing. It's going to be really difficult for anybody, even if you are like the best product and niche picker in the world, it's going to be difficult for you to do very well and build a consistent business with Facebook ads or any ads platform if you're not able to understand your numbers and read the data. So that's one of the things that I definitely want to look at just to give you a very candid, transparent look at my ads. Not all of them are winners and show you exactly what that looks like and how I'm judging my ads. Uh, and, you know, some of you may be surprised. It's still the same as what's in Dropship Academy. I'll refer to that a lot. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pull out the notes that I use in Dropship Academy when explaining Facebook ads and testing stuff because that's really still the same for me. Uh, I really still follow the same process, and so I'm going to cover that. We have a lot of new people in the group, I know, as well. So people who may not have the context of having watched some of my ads videos, what I'm going to try to do is, is sum up the process of what I've been doing. And really the whole goal here is to show you how in one week you can take a store from... So basically this was looking at... So this day that this actually happened, because I posted this yesterday, and it was a snails, it was a, a snail, it was a sales snapshot of the day before. So this picture is actually representing the last day of April, April 30th, uh, and it just so happened the way that it timed out that this was the last week of April that I was doing this, and so from April 23rd, I believe, was the Sunday before April 23rd to April 30th. I was able to take a store that was at zero dollars, uh, a new store, a new set of ads starting at zero dollars and scale that to thirteen hundred dollars in sales on this day here. All right. And then my sales actually dropped a little bit on Monday, uh, which I don't know if that had anything to do with my ads at all. I think that might have just yesterday just seemed like a really off day when it came to Facebook because. Uh, it didn't spend as much money like it didn't spend all my budgets on most of my campaigns and, um, you know, I was getting less traffic. So. Less